Hi everyone. So I am going to show you today how to make hundreds of bell pepper plants from one dollar and you can use your EBT food stamps if you want to. So basically what I do is I take a bell pepper from the market and this one is an organic bell pepper, red bell pepper. You just don't want to get a green bell pepper so you can get yellow, orange, green. Now this is the seed cluster from an orange bell pepper. I don't remember if it, I don't think it was an organic one. This one I paid a dollar for and sometimes regular red bell peppers cost you about a dollar anyway. So basically I take it this way and cut down all the sides and then cut around the all the flesh off of the seed area and then cut the seeds out and then dry that out so this way you don't even have to buy napkins or anything else so what I'm going to use it for so basically you get all the seeds which are going to give you plants and you get to use it for whatever you want to so today I'm going to make a veggie stir fry I'm doing a vegan version of beef and broccoli. I'm not using any type of meat substitute. I'm going to use mushrooms instead of meat. I got broccoli that I bought from the market and the mushrooms I bought from the market. These were just picked today. These um, broccoli leaves. And have onion scapes and bean sprouts. So all that's going to go in there and I'm going to make some white rice. I got some white rice that I got for pretty cheap. It's not organic, but you know what? I'm just starting to have enough stuff in my garden where I can go back to buying organic and not really hurt from it. So I'll be posting some pictures on Instagram when I finish this dish. I'm going to do the white rice with it and uh, let's see, I got this I bought at an Asian market. It's a vegan version of oyster sauce, I think. It's vegetarian stir fry sauce. It also is vegan. A little bit of aminos. Low sodium soy sauce. Some browning sauce. Oh, I'm going to use a little bit of liquid smoke too. So basically, I have my oil here coconut oil. And a little bit of sesame oil, and that smells super good with the sesame oil. So basically, I fry everything in order to how much I want it cooked. I'll do the onions first, then the mushrooms, then the broccoli greens, and then the broccoli crown, and then the bean sprouts. And then I'll just cook those until they're kind of tender. I don't want them to be super mushy or anything. And then do my rice. And when you do your rice, don't forget that you need to rinse it at least one time. I do it like three or four times, but you need to rinse it, not just to get the white stuff out, the, like the starch. It has um, arsenic in it. I think that's the name of it. It's not good. So you want to rinse it first and wash all of your veggies too. Even if you grow yourself, you want to wash them. I mean, you don't have to, but I wash them. That's just because that's what the Bible tells me to do, so I do it. And because I don't want to be eating dirt or bug poop. Alright you guys, this is just a short video today. This is going to be the part one on the series of growing your garden all on your EBT. So don't forget, the first thing you're going to need is going to be a bell pepper. You choose what color you want as long as it's not green. Green bell peppers are not all the way ripe, so you want to get a red orange or yellow or you can get one of each whatever you want to do just for the sake of this video and this particular bed that I'm making I'm gonna just use the red and I have an orange bell pepper plant that's already started probably about a, at least a month ago so I'm gonna use that as well so this is counting one dollar so far that we spent to do this garden and we'll see how much it is costing I'm going to try to keep it under 20 bucks 
and it's going to be basically, except for maybe a few things, all EBT food stamp eligible items. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Have a great day.